Hello everyone, this is Richard. Welcome to another edition of Starfield Essentials. In today's video, we're going to be modifying and creating legendary weapons. Now, you can't create legendary weapons in the vanilla Starfield game. So today we're going to be using a mod called the Legendary Module Recycler by DM or Big and Flabby, as uh, I've seen this modder referenced on Nexus mods. And as with my other videos, the one about modifying weapons and modifying gear, I will show you everything you need to accomplish these tasks. So let's get started. In order to accomplish today's goals, you're going to need a weapon workbench and you'll need a spacesuit workbench. And I'm going to assume that if you've looked at the other videos, you already know about these and you've added them to your outpost or you're using them in some place that already has this equipment. Next, you're going to need the equipment itself that you want to modify, and I'll show you what I'll be working with today. Ultimately, I'm going to be modifying my three primary weapons, this uh, Commander's Advanced Beowulf, this Commander's Advanced Hard Target, and this Equalizer, uh, Equalizer's Advanced Varun Inflictor. On the spacesuit side, we're going to be adding legendary characteristics to our Superior Trackers Alliance spacesuit to our Superior Trackers Alliance Balanced Pack, and to our Superior Bounty Space Helmet. Now, the first thing I'd like to do is to show you how you can add mods to a existing legendary item. So we have to go to our weapon workbench, and I'm going to be working with this in Instigating Bridger. This is a rare item. It has the instigating trait attached to it. So I can select this weapon and I can make mods to it just as I could any other weapon. So for example, if I wanted to change the barrel to the long barrel, I need to have one sealant, one iron, and one nickel, which I have in my components. So I will change the barrel on this. And now you can see on the left hand side of the screen, it now has the mod of long barrel. Now, similarly, I could do uh, a modification to a, uh, an item that is legendary. So for example, this uh, bolstering calibrated ground crew space helmet. It has the bolstering trait. And if I wanted in slot one to say add ballistic shielding, I would need one cosmetic and one nickel, which I have. And now we've added ballistic shielding as a modification to this existing legendary rare item. So that's pretty standard. I wanted to show you how to do that, just in case you were wondering if you could modify legendary weapons. Obviously, you can. The next part of the game I'm going to show you requires the mod that I mentioned in the intro, and that is the legendary weapon recycler. Um, it's listed here as a module recycler. If you wanted to add it to the game, it's listed under miscellaneous and module recycler with trade. And you can see the requirements on the left there, a positron battery, five iron, one com relay, three copper and three zero wire. Now we've already got it listed here, so it is ready to go and we don't need to shoot it. <laughs> Get my weapon disabled there. So that's it. And I will show you how to use this in just a moment. This mod provides several different functions to the game. And the first function to the game is one that enables you to gather what are called legendary cores and legendary modules from bosses or other characters that you encounter and that you loot. And in the following clip, I show you a quick combat scenario where I encountered a boss and I was able to loot these items from the boss. There's my target. And, aha, here we go. Legendary weapon module, explosive. Legendary weapon module, lacerate. And legendary core. That's what I'm here for. So in that clip, you saw that I was able to get some legendary modules and some legendary cores. And 
through the course of the game, I've been collecting these items. So, for example, if I come over here to my science crate, <laughs> Marika, not happy, standing in the corner. But as you can see, as I've been collecting these items in the science crate, I have a ton of these things. So I've got uh, legendary armor modules, and I've got legendary cores, and then I've got legendary weapon modules. And this, to me, uh, really is a cool part of this of this mod. For me, useful to you on the ship. Don't worry, Marika, we'll take care of that. This is what I really like about this this uh, mod is that it gives you an incentive to collect whatever legendary item you may come across. Uh, most of the time in my vanilla Starfield game, I just sell most legendary items because they're not any good compared to what I already have. But with this mod, uh, I'll show you what I do with them. So let's let's go to that next uh, that next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick check of my inventory. And you can see I've got this uh, instigated modified bridger, which I already worked with. But I also have a Kodama, and it's just a plain, completely vanilla Kodama. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to prepare it to become a legendary weapon. So I come over here to the module recycler. I'm going to say use, gives me a little warning. And I'm going to drop the Kodama into that device. And then I come down here and I take it. If I take a look at it now, You can see that it's a, it's now a modified Kodama, and it has three legendary slots. So if I wanted to add legendary traits to this, I could do that. Now, you can't get rid of those. So for example, if I were to um, if I were to come down here and put it back into the device, it's still going to be modified. So there's no way to get rid of slots once you've uh, once you've put it into the device. Okay, so that's the first thing you can do is you can take a an average weapon and our common weapon and put it into the module recycler and prepare it for being used uh, as a, a as legendary weapon. Now the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is how you can extract legendary cores and legendary modules from a legendary weapon, and this to me is probably one of the best aspects of this. Uh, of this module. So what I'm going to do is I am going to look at uh, all these, these are all legendary items that I've been collecting in the course of the game. So you can see everything I've got there. What I'm going to do here though, is I'm going to grab this fastened Explorer pack. And you can see it there. It has the fastened uh, capability, which adds you uh, a plus 20 for carry capacity. Now let's just take a closer look at it. There's no way I would use this myself. I mean, if I compare it to what I'm currently using, my current pack is is way better in almost all respects. My current pack weighs more, but there's no reason for me to use this Fastened Explorer pack. I would probably just sell it if I didn't have this, this mod installed. But because I have the mod installed, I'm going to do this to it. I'm going to come over back to the module recycler. I'm going to say use. And I'm going to drop this Fastened Explorer pack into the module recycler. Now I'll come down here and you see that its output is an Explorer pack, but also a Legendary Arbor module Fastened, a Legendary Arbor module Sturdy, and two Legendary cores. So I'm going to take all that. And I'm going to come back over here. And all of my common stuff I'm just dropping into this crate, drop the Explorer pack in there. You can see that now it's just a basic boost pack, or it was basic before, but it has uh, three no legendary slots on it because you can't get rid of legendary slots. But I'm gonna drop that in there. And if I come over here, take a look at my 
my resource inventory, you'll see that I have this legendary armor module fastened, legendary armor module sturdy, and two legendary cores. So I'm just gonna drop them in here because that's where I store all that stuff. And now I've taken what was basically a worthless item and I've extracted something useful from it and I've got it for future crafting essentially. Now the third option you have with this legendary module recycler is you can uh, trade. And essentially what that allows you to do is buy some and I say some, this is a very small subset of what's available. There are some modules and cores, well, cores are, are common, but the uh, there's a few modules that here that you could buy. So for example, if you're interested in any of, of these, you could buy these. And they're, you know, 60,000K, sort of a later game item. But if you were looking for any of these, potentially you could buy them. Now, just for comparison's sake, there are 32 legendary options for weapons and there are 32 legendary options for the spacesuit pack and helmet and that's a total of 64 different options and as you can see we have one two three four there's only five here available for purchase i wonder these might cycle with time like as a vendor would so i really don't know uh, because i don't really buy uh, modules what i do is in the course of my travels i encounter bad guys i loot them and i store what i find in my science crate here. We are now ready to gather the modules that we need for our weapons and our gear. So I'm going to start by gathering the items for my weapons. So my plan for this next bit is to build an instigating hitman shattering hard target. Read the word and I'll follow you, Captain. Okay, Marika. <laughs> an extended mag, uh, hand loading elemental Beowulf and a furious lacerate one inch punch Varun weapon. So let's grab these. Now to get our weapons ready for becoming legendaries, we need to drop them in the legendary module recycler. So we'll drop in the uh, advanced Beowulf, advanced hard target, and the advanced Varun inflictor. Now we'll take them back. We'll get a look at them. And you can see that each one now has three legendary slots at the bottom. And just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna drop off the unused weapons before we go to the next step. Let's start with the Beowulf. The Beowulf, legendary slot one. And here are all the slot one options. For us, the first one is going to be extended mag. Now you can see the rifle is now a rare rifle because it has one legendary trait. Next, we'll add hand loading into slot two. Oh, by the way, here are all the options for slot two. So hand loading into slot two. Now we have an epic rifle. And in slot three, we will add elemental. And here are all the options for slot three. And you can see we now have a uh, legendary rifle, elemental commander's advanced Beowulf. It's interesting, it took the third trait as the name of the weapon. Let's work on the hard target next. The hard target is gonna be instigating hitman and shattering. There we go, now we have a shattering Commander's Advanced Hard Target Legendary Rifle. Finally, we'll work on our Varun weapon. 
This will be a furious lacerate one inch punch. And that is it for our weapons. Let's take a look at them. Let's see, we have three new items. Here's our new Beowulf. By the way, it's uh, fully automatic, which is why the damage is so low. But um, once it's firing, it'll be pretty great. Here's the Varun weapon. And here's our hard target. Next, let's work on the spacesuits. So to modify our spacesuit, we need to come over here and we're going to need to add slots to all of the items, the, uh, the spacesuit itself, the pack, and our helmet. And we'll take each one back. And if we look at them, you can see now each one has three legendary slots in it. And I'm going to drop off the unnecessary items here before I go any farther. And we're going to need to pick up our items from the science crate again. So our, our loadout is going to be for the suit, uh, chameleon, weapon holstered, and assisted carry. For the pack, combat vet, automatic, sentinel, and for the helmet, also chameleon, fastened, and peacemaker. Now we will use the spacesuit workbench and we can start off with our helmet and the helmet will be a chameleon fastened peacemaker. Here are all the options for slot one. In slot two, we're going to do fastened and here are all the options for slot two. And in slot three, we're going to do Peacemaker. Here are all the options for slot three. So we now have a Fastened Superior Bounty Hunter Space Helmet. Let's work on the pack next. The pack is going to be Combat Vet Automatic Sentinel. So Combat Vet. Auto Medic Sentinel. So now we have the Sentinel Superior Trackers Alliance Balance Pack. <laughs> and finally, we'll modify our spacesuit. This is going to be another chameleon, uh, weapon holstered, and assisted carry. Given the amount of uh, weapons that I loot, uh, in some cases, this is a good option, I think. And finally, assisted carry. Oh, I am missing six legendary cores, so let's go and grab those. I haven't run a ton of missions with this character, but enough. And just every time I encounter someone who's got a legendary, I don't sell it. I drop it into that legendary module recycler and I grab what I need. Oh, we need to work on the suit. So suit three will be assisted carry. And that's it. So now we have the assisted carry Superior Trackers Alliance spacesuit. Now let's get a look at those items. There's our new spacesuit. There's our new helmet. And here's our new pack. 
and we'll take a look and see the uh, oh we need to equip actually yeah we can see right now 15 5 25 for the damage resistance let's go and equip these items And there we go. I hope you enjoyed the content in this video. I understand that mods are not for everyone and that some of you don't like the idea of crafting your own legendary weapons and you prefer to find them. That's part of the fun. I totally get that. Uh, I just felt like at a certain point, it was no longer fun for me to find legendary weapons because looking for that combination that I wanted just was never out there. And so by finding legendary weapons and then being able to extract useful components from them, I was able to finally craft something that I like. And that's the way I was playing this particular character. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. And on Xbox, I play completely vanilla with whatever I can find. And you know that's the way I play over there. If you like this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for other topics you'd like to see me cover, please feel free to leave a comment. I like reading everyone's thoughts as they watch these videos. And I will see you in the Starfield.